A new variant of Raytheon's Excalibur precision guided shell has successfully hit a mobile target. The demonstration conducted in a U.S. Navy test at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, saw the munition change course to hit a target that changed its position. The company stated the Excalibur S proved it can survive the shock and stress of being fired from a howitzer, then transition from a GPS guided capability to laser guidance and hit a moving target. This is a significant breakthrough since a shell fired from a cannon is subjected to a lot of force which can destroy the complex seeker mechanism in the shell. The Excalibur S beats rivals in terms of accuracy, range and ability to hit mobile targets. This test indicates that the U.S. Navy is still interested in the technology, though it is investing in more path-breaking systems like railguns and lasers. Excalibur could be one of the most important new tech for the U.S. military, and it may have an impact on how future naval battles are fought. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes U.S. Navy's Excalibur S long-range precision shell that can hit moving targets. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The main advantage of the Excalibur shell is the enhanced range. The Excalibur projectile has double the effective range of conventional shell currently being used with the Mark 45 5-inch gun present in U.S. Navy warships. It can fire out to 40 kilometers, or almost 22 nautical miles, compared with the current range of just over 20 kilometers achieved by traditional shells. The rounds also have an accuracy inside 2 meters, which is much better than that of conventional shells. The new variant, known as Excalibur S, has laser guidance, which makes it capable of seeking and engaging moving targets. The S version has GPS and a semi-active laser seeker to get after mobile land and maritime targets in GPS-contested environments without a loss in range capability. Raytheon stated that the Excalibur Increment B projectiles, used by U.S. Army and U.S. Navy, can be upgraded with the S capabilities. Sam Denecki, Raytheon's Land Warfare Systems Vice President, said in a statement, Using artillery to engage moving targets gives soldiers more flexibility. Artillery is typically used to hit stationary objects, but Excalibur S expands the capability of artillery on the battlefield. The important aspect is that Excalibur shell can be fired from Mark 45 5-inch guns. The Mark 45 is installed in Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and Ticonderoga-class cruisers. U.S. Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and 22 Ticonderoga-class cruisers. So all these warships could be upgraded with enhanced engagement range with limited modifications. The Mark 45 gun is a pretty matured system. The Mark 45 gun was developed from Mark 42 5-inch gun mount. The main improvements were lighter weight, easier maintenance, and better fire control. It's designed to engage surface ships and air targets, as well as can act as a land attack weapon. Mark 45 gun mount is remotely fired from the Mark 160 gun computer system or Mark 86 gunfire control during normal operations. The fully automatic naval gun mount is employed against surface, anti-surface warfare ASUW, air, anti-air warfare AAW, and land attack, naval service fire support targets. There have been several upgrades. For example, Mark 45 Mod 4 gun mount upgrade has a longer barrel that improves the gun's effectiveness as a land attack weapon. The gun mount includes a 20-round automatic loader drum. 
the gun has a maximum firing rate of 16 to 20 rounds per minute. The rounds in the loader drum can be fired with one crew member located below deck. The drums are reloaded by other crew members, all of whom are stationed below deck. A naval gun mount is present in almost all the major warships. To understand the situation, we need to check what America's main rivals, Russia and China, have. The Russians use the AK-130 naval gun turret, which is of Soviet design. It was developed in the 1970s as a more capable gun turret than the earlier SM-2 as armament for destroyers and cruisers. The AK-130 is the most powerful naval gun turret that remains in service. The AK-130 is one of the few modern two-barrel gun turrets. Its single-barrel performance is similar to the American Mark 45. The AK-130 is a massive twin gun turret. It's developed as a single gun design at first, but two guns were required to meet the desired rate of fire. The 130mm guns have been derived from the 130mm M46 towed artillery piece. The water-cooled guns are mounted side by side in an unmanned turret with an automatic loader. The ammunition is stored below deck like its American counterpart. A total of 150 to 180 rounds are generally stored. Additional rounds are carried and that count will depend on the warship on which the gun turret is mounted. The MR-184 fire control radar and optronic guidance package can control up to two AK-130 turrets. The maximum range is 23 kilometers or 14 and a half nautical miles against surface targets and 15 kilometers or 8 nautical miles versus aerial targets. The rate of fire is 10 to 35 rounds per minute per barrel, so the combined results is a maximum of 70 rounds per minute per gun mount. The AK-30 is present on the Savremeni and Udaloy II class destroyers and the Slava and Kirov class cruisers. The Chinese Navy uses the HPJ-38 130mm naval gun. It's designed by the Zhengzhou Mechanical Electrical Engineering Research Institute and manufactured by Inner Mongolia Second Machinery Manufacturing Factory. The HPJ-38 naval gun was developed by reverse engineering of Russian AK-130 naval gun turret. The range remains the same as it is inherently same as the Russian AK-130. The main difference was that HPJ-38 mount is single-barreled and it can fire even gun-launched missiles apart from traditional shells. China is thought to have developed different kinds of rounds for this gun. It took almost four years to develop and is currently deployed in Chinese Type 052 and newest Type 055 destroyers. Some analysts have pointed out that naval guns are obsolete due to the advent of missiles, but it's not so. Just like fighter jets still carry guns irrespective of the missiles, a frontline warship needs a potent naval gun for close quarter combat. Even the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is getting a 25mm Gatling gun in spite of the fact that it's primarily designed to engage the enemy from a long range, including beyond visual range BVR. Also, naval guns can be used against aerial threats and as a land attack option. It's clear that at present, in terms of range, the American Mark 45 is at par with Russia and China, but with Excalibur it will beat both of them by a large margin. US Navy does need to up its game, keeping in view a resurgent Russian Navy and ever-growing Chinese Navy. Indications are that the US is up to it and seems to have drawn a long-term strategy. U.S. Navy plans to substantially enhance the offensive capability of U.S. warships with three-prong approach – lasers, railguns, and long-range projectiles. Overall, it can be said that U.S. Navy is taking steps to stay one step ahead of its rivals. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.